Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be targeting wild brown trout in two of the Lake District's big waters. The first one, which I'm just walking to now, we'll, we'll give that until about midday, see how we're doing there. We maybe stay if it's fishing well, but we'll see how we do. And, um, and then we'll go over to another one for the afternoon. I've briefly seen the lake and there isn't much wind on the water, which isn't very good news, but it is early in the season. So sometimes the trout are quite keen. I'll keep, I'll keep walking and we'll get down and I'll uh, show you my setup and how I'm targeting these trout. So I've just got down to the lake and there's a couple of fish rising. So I'm going to start with fishing a 10 gram Abu Toby. It's copper and black. And I'm fishing that off a 10 to 30 gram spinning rod. Got 30 pound braid, a little thick spool reel. Um, yeah, we don't need to be going too deep today. As, as I said, there's a few fish rising already. So let's get at them. So here we go, here's the first customer, trout season. Drag's a little bit tight, probably set for bass last season. This lake is so clear, it's unbelievable. I'm gonna fish, I'm gonna start here, I'll fish out that way and I'll work it round and I'll fish right down into that bay and then I might cross over and go up that side. That side's really deep. In fact, I think this is the deepest lake in England. Let's see how we do. Just give it a little bit of time to sink. It's been raining a lot recently, so there's a lot more water in it than what I uh, anticipated. Don't know what effect that'll have on the fishing, if I'm honest. They might come in a bit closer with it being deeper, I'm, I'm not quite sure. Just see it coming in. Now I'm following it. Oh, it's a fish. <laughs> I thought the spinner had just flicked off her. That was the first fish of the day. It's tiny. Look at that though. Dead dark little brown trout. It's a nice fish. There we go. There's a the fish. Nice little wild brown trout. Dead dark in colour that one. Let's put it back. There we go, that's the first fish of the season out the way. Let's hope we can get a few more, some bigger ones hopefully. That fish must have took that on the drop. I was just moving and letting it sink. I actually thought the spinner had um, wrapped around the line, but uh, no, little trout. It's a good sign, since I've come round this corner, I've had maybe three or four takes and, and that fish, so definitely some, some fish in the area. Yep, yeah, there we go. That feels a better fish. Definitely does feel a better fish. Just 
Hope I don't lose it. Oh no, it's not as big as what I thought. There we go. There's a fish. Nice stocky little fish mind. Put it back. That wasn't too bad. Hopefully they get a little bit bigger than that. But this lake isn't really renowned for its big trout. Um, usually they are quite small. You get quite a few like that and then you might get a couple, maybe two or three in a day that are twice that size but no it was a, it's been a good start I've had two fish now and had about three or four takes and one follow oh just got another take there try and get it to come and again missed it so fast at taking sometimes it's unbelievable you just you've just got to time the strike right and it's hard see if it's following nah now it's behind it No, but hopefully this little ripple picks up even a bit more and should be a good day. It's, it's getting better as we speak. I've just seen a fish rise over the other side there. Yep, yeah, there we go. Ooh, ooh, that's a nice fish. Yeah, that is a nice fish. It feels quite heavy. Ah, uh, that's why it got itself in the weed a little bit, see it stuck to its face, but that is, that is a nice wild brown troll. Very dark. Just get the hook out. There we go. Yeah, it's a crack and wild brown trout. Let's put it back. Yeah, I don't know whether that ripples just fetch them on a little bit more or or I've just hit like a shoal of them like a good patch. But yeah, that was good fishing that. In this lake, there's a um, good head of wild brown trout. I think there's the char. Oh, there's another fish. There we go. Yeah, as I was saying, I think there's char and you get the odd salmon and sea trout kelp this time of year, but I'm not really targeting them. Like I, I don't really want to be catching them, but you do think you've got a real nice trout on when you hook one. Uh, it's a smaller one. Keeps getting tangled down the top of my rod. 
Don't want to be doing that because when I got a cast, it'll just snap. Ooh, I just got another take there. Oh, yep, there we go. Feels a decent little fish. Oh, there's a fish, that one's dead gold, and it really wants to go back. <laughs> Off it goes. Seems to have found a good, a good little pocket of them here. I mean, on that cast, I don't know whether it was that actual fish, but I got two or three takes and then, then hooked into that fish. I think I'm going to give it another 10 or 15 minutes on this side and then I'm going to go down. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh, it come off. Then I'm going to give it another 10 or 15 minutes on this side and then I'm going to go over that side, maybe over by them trees. I don't think I've ever been up that far and give it a fish up there, see what that produces. Maybe even change and put on a bigger Toby, a uh, silver one, see if that fetches any different results. Yeah. That was a good take. Proper bang did it. fish. Nice lean, little brown trout. Yep, there we go. That was in much closer than uh, the, the other ones. Usually I'd add them further out. <laughs> it's a feisty little thing, this. Oh, it's come off. There's a little bit. It was fighting its little heart out, trying to get off.
think I might try a bit of a faster retrieve, see if, see if that fetches out. Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, it's come off. <laughs> yeah, that was interesting. Now, maybe do that again. Bit of a faster retrieve, see if that fetches them to hit it harder, a bit quicker. Oh, I think that was a fish. I think. I just felt someone grab it and then come off, but could have been weird, like. Just seeing another fish over the other side rise there. If anything's following it, no, nothing. There, but not to be. The lake really narrows off at this point. I mean, I'm casting well over halfway there, so in a couple of casts, I might as well pack up and go around that side. And uh, if I put on a heavier spinner, then I'm going to be covering most of this ground from that side as well. I think I got a take as I was walking. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, it's come off. <laughs> it's a good sport, very good action. Plenty of fish. These lakes are absolutely chocker with little brown trout. Chocker with them. There is the odd, odd good fish as well in between. Um, I've heard of some people getting fish near and, and into double figures, low double figures. But, uh, yeah, they're pretty rare out of, out of these big lakes. Three palm would be a very, very good fish. Last cast, I think. Then we'll go around. Nothing there. Right, we'll uh, go around the other side. I think I'm going to put on a bigger toby and see if I can fish a little bit deeper because that side really shelves off quite close. So, yeah, catch around the other side. So I finally got around the other side. It's a fair walk and uh, by the time I've got round, the wind's really picked up and now there's a nice ripple on the water. That'll do us like very good. Like you, that's what you want. You need a good chop on the water usually for wild brown trout fishing. Um, I'm gonna change it a little bit. Not that the other method wasn't working because it, it was. It was doing quite well. I, th I can't remember how many fish I had over the other side. Maybe five or six and a good few takes and misses. But I'm gonna try and try and maybe get a bit of a better fish. So I'm gonna be spinning a 20 gram silver and I'm gonna try and fish it a little bit deeper and a little bit sl slower and see if I can get something. A little bit bigger in size but if not i can always go back to the the little copper toby that i had on before and start getting a bit more sport again. just give it a little bit of sinking time
Oh, that could have been a take. Yeah, there we go. Don't know if that was the same fish before and then it's come back for it or what, but yeah. Just wet my hand for it coming in. There's a fish. Absolutely nailed that. Lovely little brown trout. I'm going to try to cast down the side, straight out even, and uh, see if that changes anything. I know it shelves off pretty fast on this side, dead close to the edge, so just run one along the side, see if that does out. Oh, oh, that was a take. Yep, there we go. That fish hit it and then it's come back for it. So I'm saying you've just got to change it up a little bit. Sometimes cast out down, sometimes cast down the side. Until you find where they are. Just a little fish again. Really dark. Look how dark that fish is. It's near enough black. Went away strong. I think after this cast I'm going to go back to the little uh, copper and black toby that I was getting them on before. I've given this 15-20 minutes and I've had a couple of bangs on it, I've had a little fish on it but nothing really too exciting. Oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> Just as I was saying. See what it is. Feels like a little brown trout. Oh, it's not a bad one. Probably the best of the day, I would say. There we go, there's a fish, nice little brown trout, maybe about 10 inches long or something. Oh, <laughs> and off it goes, that one wasn't the one it's picture taken. Give this spinner a couple more casts, if it's going to pick out the better fish like that one then uh, I'd stick with it. But don't know. I think maybe the copper one would have took that fish as well. But we'll see. Give another 10 minutes or so, we'll work our way around this corner and then I'll maybe fish it back with the copper one and then we'll see what's happening from there. God, that fish has took it on the drop. <laughs> I was wondering what was going on. I thought there was a fish on it. Do 
just hooked in the top lip. Go, spin this out. Yeah, I didn't even reel that, uh, reel that spinner in there. Just as soon as I, I turned the handle, it was on. So it must have uh, took it as the spinner was falling through the water. Probably means there's quite a few fish out there. If they're that competitive, they're doing that. Yep, there we go. There's another one. Sometimes it feels so heavy when they first hit it. And then they're just little when you get them a bit closer. Yeah, it's not a bad one. Look at the colours on them, proper golden. The true wild trout of England. There we go, that was back on the little 10 gram copper, copper and black toby. Well, uh, see if this makes any sort of difference to the catch rates. It was doing better over that side, but um, over this side, with it being a bit deeper and that, I don't know, we'll just see, we'll give it a test. I've got a feeling there's maybe a few more trout out there that didn't really want to tackle that uh, quite big silver toby. Obviously you can wind this one a little bit slower as well, but it, oh, straight away, there we go. <laughs> straight away, first cast. Feels a nice fish actually as well. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, it feels a decent fish. It's really starting to blow up here now, which is perfect for spinning for troll. It's absolutely perfect. Yeah, it's a nice chunky one. There we go, there's a fish. Perfect little fish. Let's put it back. Give this one a bit of time to get down. I think we'll bring it in now. Oh, yeah, yeah, there we go. There we go, that was down pretty deep, that fish. Getting them up out the snags, it's a hard part. Once you get them up, they're not too bad. Stand on a bit of a rock here. There we go. give this one chance to get down again that last fish there was I'd say it was pretty deep like I let it sink a fair bit um, so yeah maybe that's where they are seen a couple of flies it's it's a real mild day for for middle of March there we 
little twitch couple of turns little twitch oh yep 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 there we go <laughs> what a take that was brilliant sometimes that's how it is um just that little twitch can sometimes just bring them to attack it it feels quite a good fish this it feels one of the heavier ones that i've had today it's a nice stocky fish Yeah, that's definitely one of the better ones I've had today. Look at that. It's a brilliant trout. There. Nice wild brown trout. Got to be a good, good pound. Pound in weight. Fantastic. Nice fight off it. Brilliant colours. Yeah, champion. Let's get it put back. So after that last fish, I set off back to the car and on the way back, the weather come in really bad with a lot of rain and a lot of wind. So I didn't end up going to the second venue I had in mind, but I will be fishing there very shortly when the weather calms down.